<laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Alright, don't worry about the next. This is your boy, Chris, with the next. Alright, so I want to talk about the whole hashtag justice for Junior. Alright, so for those who do not know who Junior is, he is a 15 year old kid. They got stabbed by these evil goons over his mistaken identity. Why? Because there was a guy in the video. First of all, the, the little girl, um, high school girl, she, she wanted the train ran on her. So um, she was having sex with this boy that look, looked like Junior, but it wasn't Junior. His hair was more kinkier. And she was cool with the whole um, train being ran on her. Then the boy posted this video to Facebook. They recorded it and posted it to Facebook. And the boy's brother got mad, so so then he had to go find this boy in the video and thought it was Junior, and it wasn't. So he got dragged up the um, the bodega in the Bronx, and one had a machete and the other one had knives, and started stabbing him. And the kid ran to um, ran to go get help, but he ended up dying on um, dying in the hospital because it was fatal. Now, um, the boys did get arrested. They all got arrested. You can see all their faces and they mugshot. They look stupid as hell. And they should get the death penalty. Because first of all, you gotta be fucking evil to stab somebody and with a machete. Like, where did you get all this? And I'm pr pretty sure that's not their first time killing somebody because they executed that shit way too perfectly. If they was amateurs, that boy probably would have still been alive, but they but they stabbed him in all the right places. And so he um including his neck, so he you know, you know that boy bled out. Second of all, the brother should have checked the sister. First of all, you know, you got girls about that life. You know, a lot of girls nowadays, you know, want to get trains ran on them. As long as all the homies is cute. You know, when I was growing up, if you got a train around you, that was the most horrible thing. But nowadays, it's, it's cool. You know, do your thing, girl. You know, handling niggas. You know, because you got all these Hollywood hookers running around. And I'm not going to say names, but you already I know the, the social media ones, the ones that ain't good for nothing, ain't doing nothing. No talent, so just want, walking around, laying on their back. You know, they be seen with different guys. So the girls, you know, so now the girls, you know, they look up to that stuff, and then they want to try it out, you know. And I do believe it's up to the parents to parent them to their children, because, you know, I'm not saying you know it's, it's Hollywood's fault, but they do have a lot to play with, a lot to play with in that, you know, it's the parents' job to also look at, you know, if you got, you know, Amber Rose posting a meme talking about. You know, when you take it in the butt, but um, it hurt. And, but you, you was talking a good game, so now you got to just put up with it, you know. you need to, If your kids saw that, you need to know. You need to um, <laughs> explain to them what that is. Because at 15 years old, you shouldn't be talking about, you know, taking up the butt or um, a train ran on you or whatever, you know. You got your whole life to, you know, be grown. So just be a kid, you know. So he, I feel like he should have talked to his sister about that. Even if he thought she was getting raped, you know, you need to really explain to her. Because a lot of these, like I said, a lot of these kids nowadays, a lot of these girls, they cool with the train, they cool with being, you know, sexually advanced. By the time they hit 18, they already know what everything is. You know, and so this boy, because a lot of these dudes are just lo losing their lives over nothing. Because these girls, you know, want to go and do out, do stuff or say stuff. And everybody is going to believe the girl. So, you know, I feel like a, a lot of these dudes should educate themselves because now all they ask is, is going to jail and maybe get tried as an adult because they only look. Like, 15, 14 years old. They'll be 18, you know, soon. So, 
again, you know, Justice Virginia, you know, let this be a lesson to people. If you got a sister or any of the, or any of that, a girlfriend, whatever, you need to make sure that they're not he down for the train. And if you thought that they was getting raped, you know, let, let law enforcement handle that. But again, you need to always educate yourself because, you know, this, you know, boy lost his life. A lot of these people, a lot of these people, and I think another thing with social media, people out here um, trying to get the bodega shut down, saying they didn't do nothing. Then they are um, uh, releasing people who were standing by, you know, saying they didn't do nothing. So now you're trying to get them arrested and trying to get somebody handled. I feel like social media needs to stop that. Because you don't get somebody's uh, mother or uncle or brother or whoever, you know, messed up. You know, get messed up over something that they didn't, didn't have nothing to do with. A lot of people saying in, in the comment section or on uh, Instagram, <clears throat> yeah, I would have ran in and, you know, knocked the knives out the hands. And I would have been like Jackie Chan or like Bruce Lee. Like, some of y'all would have not did shit. Let's face it. Some people would have probably had their phones recording. Because everybody likes to record now. Just like the XXX situation. People like to record. Unless you got a gun. How? Unless you got a gun or a, a high-powered water hose. How was you going to stop them? You know, because you don't even know what was going on. You don't even um, know what the situation is. Yeah, you probably... Um, you know, was you going to risk your life for somebody that you didn't know? I mean, yeah, they could have done that, but I'm saying, you know, you have to put yourself in situations <clears throat> that happen so quickly, you know, because it could have been, you know, a setup. <clears throat> so I hear it was a setup. Somebody set him up to go to the bodega. So, like, you, what, you, what would you do, you know? You just can't help hold people accountable. And it's a situation that you might have been in and you might have been like, oh shit, what's going on? You know, this because this happened over a matter of seconds. All right, so comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris with the next. Peace.